here's the update for the overflow issue. Right there, that junction was essentially upside down. Uh, let's see, one, two, three cuts, and two couplers later, all is well. All is great. It's working really well. I'm using the light diffuser because it sits flush. Forms well. You can see right there is the drain. This is my basic return right now. Now, for those of you that don't remember, this was, this tank itself was a $30 Craigslist tank that I had purchased uh, with a crummy stand. Uh, the top trim was cracked, so I removed all of that, and I cut in these glass pieces and braced it and went with a rimless setup. And then... Broke this stand for it. It's actually super, super sturdy. And then this is the sump that I built based off of one of Joey's fluidized sumps. I will be going to a fluidized bed once I can afford the freaking media for it. Uh, this thing works great. You can see the water pressurizing out the top and that's the water the water level sits right here I've got another piece of that braced from uh, acrylic pieces that I put in there these are both four inch wide chambers and I will be laying uh, the mechanical media across that I might even go with a phone if I'm having a clarification problem but I don't think it's gonna happen um, and then we're overflowing back into here, and there's the return pump. This is a 5 8 inside diameter, a 3 quarter outside diameter tube that I'm using, but I will be making probably a spray bar, which will slow things down just a titch. But the water level is exactly where I want it to be. Couldn't ask for more, and when I do shut it down, it, it uh, stops draining eventually and plug it back in and it starts right back up so can't ask for more on that it's working great and thanks to everybody uh, at the DIY forums um, I might start another a playlist thread based around this breeder tank probably will because today I've actually got to do the update for the aquaponics setup out back because this is all for breeding my blue tilapia that are back there. Uh, you guys are going to crap yourselves when you see this big male that comes out of there eventually. And I'll be posting that video later also. Uh, next I'm going to be installing, I've got a four port air pump, two lines will be feeding to the center of the, um, of the sump, and then two lines will be feeding in here. I've got these guides that I installed when I did the tank, so the air lines won't be just flipping around willy-nilly, and by tonight this should be looking super sweet, so, um, stay tuned.